for potassium dichromate. Uh, the potassium dichromate is actually K2Cr2O7, uh, which technically breaks into 2K+, plus and Cr2O7 2 minus. So this CR2O7, uh, same uh, we used in the last question, it's dissolved in a water of 250 ml, so that the volume of the water, so that means we have 1.50 grams, and it was put it into 250 centimeter cubed volume. And then once it was, let me make it bigger there. Uh, once it was dissolved, they take they took 25 centimeter portion of that solution, and it was added to potassium iodide and dilute sulfuric acid. So it's a very similar reaction to what we just uh, did in the previous case. Um, so we have Cr2. O seven plus let me write down the, the full reaction here so it'll be easy for you to look at it later on. So K two C R T O seven plus it was reactive with K I potassium iodide plus sulfuric acid H two S O four and it makes just double check on that. All right, so that actually makes CR two S O four. Three plus uh, water plus iodine. Obviously, it's going to be water here, plus going to be iodine and K2SO4. If I balance it, it's we have six there. Now, those reactions, you want to make sure you know how to balance those. Um, actually, I already balanced those on a piece of paper, so that's why I know how the 6 and 7 came in. And then you have 7, 3, 4 there. So you have 7 there, 3 there, and 4 there. So the second part of the question, it says, when we reacted 25, 25 centimeter cubed portion of the solution uh, with the Ki and dilute sulfuric acid, we made iodine. So the iodine is I2 that was being made here, and that iodine was actually titrated again with another chemical. So iodine is again titrated with sodium bisulfate, which is Na2S2O3, Na2S2O3, and when it titrated with that, it makes Na2S4O6 plus Nai. And if it balance that, two there, and the rest should be good. And they also said uh, they were titrated with 19.20 centimeter cubed of uh, Na2SDO3, and the molarity of that compound was 0 0.108 moles over uh, dm cubed. Now one trick here is uh, the concentration 
which is 0 0.108, is given in moles over dm cubed, and the volume is given in centimeter cubed. So we need to make sure we have the same volume, and the same units, in order to calculate the moles of Na2S2O3. Once we calculate the moles of Na2S3, we can calculate the moles of I2, because that's the 2 to 1 ratio. And once we have the moles of I2, we can calculate the moles of K2CR2O7. Um, so it's a little lengthy process, but um, see if that makes sense. So right down here, um, We have 0.108 moles over dm cubed. Now, one decimeter is 10 centimeters. So we use that equality here to convert that. So since the decimeter is cubed in the concentration, we can cube this equality there. Then we can multiply that with volume, which is 19.20 centimeter cubed. All right, that will give us the moles for Na2S3, and for every two moles of Na2S3. S to agree, we have one mole of I2. So here, uh, moles of Na2 cancels out with the moles, so watch for the color combinations here. Uh, decimeter cubes cancels out with decimeter cubed. Then centimeter cancels out with centimeter. At the end, we are left out with moles of I2. All right, so let me do the calculations there. It's going to be uh, 0 0.108 times 19.20. All right, and then divide by 10 cubed. Make sure you do the 10 cubed there. Okay, and then divide by 2 again. So that comes out to be 0 0.00103. 0 0.00103. 0 0 0 now, these are the I2 that, are, that was produced in the previous reaction. So that means the moles of I2 in the first reaction we wrote down uh, was 0 0.00. Zero, one, zero, four. Now from here, we can calculate the moles of K2CRTO7, considering we know the mole ratio of I2 and K2CRTO7. Um, so that's going to be 0 0.00104 moles of I2 times uh, one mole of K2 Cr2 O7 divided by three moles of I2 now once we have the moles of K2CRTO7, we can get the mass of that using the molar mass of K2CRT and uh, the molar mass of K2CRTO7 is 294.19. So that's going to be times 294.19 grams over 1 mole of K two C R two O seven. 
and then again watch for the color combinations molds of i2 cancers out here and then molds of k2 cr2 cancers out here and the final mass of uh, k2 cr2 07 that's going to be 0 0.00104 times 294.19 and divide that by 3 so that comes out to be 0 0.102 oh. oh, I forgot to step there, I'm sorry about that um, the step I forgot here, uh, we have a 25 centimeters uh, cubed uh, that was taken from the portion of uh, 250 mils. Uh, so that means the total amount of uh, K2 CR2 in a 250 mils of solution was 10 times than what you have in only 25 a centimeter cubed portion of the solution. Um, so whatever we get here, 25, uh, 0.102 grams of uh, K2 CR207, that's in uh, 25, just write that down here, that's in 25 centimeters cubed. But we need to get what we have in the 250 uh, cube, so we just multiply that by 250 because the total solution was uh, 250. So centimeters cubes cancels out here, and then that's going to be 1.02 after you multiply. So the total amount of uh, potassium dichromate you have in a solution of 250 centimeter cube is 1.02. Now. At the end, we need to get the percentage purity, and the percentage purity is going to be the amount of potassium dichromate, which is 1.02, divided by 1.500 grams times 100. So that comes out to be 67.8%. Um, so let me know if that makes sense.